narrated by Al-Bara bin Azab. The Prophet peace be upon him was carrying earth with us on the day of the battle of Al-Azab, confederates, and I saw that the dust was covering the whiteness of his abdomen, and he, the Prophet peace be upon him, was saying, O oh Allah! Without you, we would not have been guided, nor would we have given in charity, nor would we have prayed. So, O oh Allah, please send tranquility, Sikhanah, upon us as they, the chiefs of the enemy tribes, have rebelled against us. And if they intend affliction, means want to frighten us and fight against us, then we would not, flee but withstand them. And the Prophet peace be upon him used to raise his voice with it. Narrated by Abdullah bin Abu Alpha. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Do not long for meeting your enemy, and ask Allah for safety, from all sorts of evil. Narrated by Al Qasim bin Muhammad. Ibn Abbas mentioned the case of a couple on whom the judgment of Lian has been passed. Abdullah bin Shaddad said, Was that the lady in whose case the Prophet peace be upon him said, If I were to stone a lady to death without a proof, against her? Ibn Abbas said, No. That was concerned with a woman who though being a Muslim used to arouse suspicion by her outright misbehavior. Narrated by Atta. One night the Prophet peace be upon him delayed the Isha prayer whereupon Umar went to him and said, The prayer, O Allah's messenger peace be upon him. The women and children had slept. The Prophet peace be upon him came out with water dropping from his head, and said, were I not afraid that it would be hard for my followers, or for the people, I would order them to pray Isha prayer at this time. Various versions of this hadith are given by the narrators with slight differences in expression but not in content. Narrated by Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Were I not afraid that it would be hard on my followers, I would order them to use the siwak, as obligatory, for cleaning the teeth. 